Hello everybody, my name is Neil Bakiev. I'm your IELTS instructor with the Perfect Band 9 in the speaking section. And today we'll be analyzing a cue card taken from Cambridge IELTS Academic Book 17 Test 1. Let's look at this cue card in detail. Describe the neighborhood you lived in when you were a child. You should say where in your town, city, the neighborhood was, what kind of people lived there, what it was to live in this neighborhood and explain whether you would like to live in this neighborhood in the future. All right, guys, now let's look at this mind map. It's very important to write your key idea in the center. In this case, I have written the word my neighborhood. OK, and then the first aspect is where in your town, right? So which means where is it located? In here, I've written some keywords, Tashkent, Uzbekistan, and then where, okay, in the south of the city. Okay, so I'm not going to write any long sentences here. All you need to do is to write only the keywords that you will be using in your presentation. Next, what kind of people? <clears throat> in here, I've got hospitable, friendly, supportive and considerate. Okay, next. What it was like living there. In here, I've got two branches. So the first one is joint activities. Okay, and I'll be talking about building a house and then lending tools, painting and creating a garden. And the second aspect is having good friends. Okay, in here, I'll be talking about playing football, basketball, and video games with them. And here, that I'm still staying in touch with them. All right. And uh, the next question is, am I going to leave there in the future? So my answer is no. Okay, so you, you've got to write it down either yes or no. So in this case, the answer is no. And I've got three reasons. First, I live in New Zealand. Second, I bought a house here in New Zealand. And third, I got married. Okay. And here, I just say that I'm going to visit my parents and friends, but I'm not going to live there in the future. So as soon as you have this map in front of you, it will be very easy for you to talk. And when you are talking, uh, what I want you to do is to keep your finger so for example if you're talking about where in your town right keep your finger here right and then focus on this aspect talk about it very quickly then talk about this um, aspect next move to the next one what kind of people and then focus on this aspect talk about this in detail move to this aspect and if you do this right you will not miss any main points and the examiner will be very happy now, what I want you to do is to listen to my presentation. So look at this mind map, okay? And then you will understand how I can give my presentation based on this information given. Okay, let's do it. I would like to focus on the most interesting aspects of my neighborhood, looking back to the period of my childhood. I was born and raised in Tashkent, the capital city of Uzbekistan. Geographically, my neighborhood is located in the south of the city and takes up a quite large area. Speaking of the local population, I should say that I had the most hospitable, friendly, supportive and considerate neighbors and friends around me. We were all involved in lots of joint activities. For example, Whenever a neighbor was building a house, we were all involved in helping him or her by lending different tools, painting and creating a garden. This community spirit was vital to everybody living in our district. I did enjoy living in my neighborhood because I had lots of great friends with whom I played football, basketball and video games. Although we had massive arguments from time to time, we were able to become friends again. Therefore, all of my childhood friends and I are still socializing using social media platforms. 
Unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure that I'll be able to return to my neighborhood. One of the reasons for this is that I have been living in New Zealand for four years and I have bought a house and got married. I might go back there to visit my parents and friends, but not move there permanently. If you would like to analyze this model answer and understand what specific grammar, vocabulary and structure to use for this cue card, you could purchase the IELTS speaking and writing app to maximize your score and pass the IELTS examination. Please use the link below the video. Good luck with your IELTS examination. Best regards, Neil.